Are y'all like, I, I'm, am I scared? Yeah, of course. I'm scared of the unknown. I'm fearing what could go wrong, but I'm also like so hyped for what could go right. What's good, y'all? What is good? Man, do I got a story for y'all. Do I got a story for y'all. I'm, uh, I'm coming on here. It's 8.56 in the morning. It's still dark outside because it's cloudy. The sun ain't out yet. I just got home from my old job. Yes, I'm saying old job because they let your boy go about an hour ago. Again? Again. Nah, bruh. I, I'm like not even surprised because in the back of my mind, I just knew like, yo, this is this is not what I want to do. This job was not what I wanted to do. And I didn't do anything wrong. Like, they just told me we're going in a different direction. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. I packed up my stuff and was gone. Did not care. My little, my little, you know, hurt. Is my ego hurt a little bit? Yeah, but that's normal. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel some type of way, but I know for a fact I'm going to get into the story of why this was all meant to happen. All right, so literally this morning, I just woke up feeling good, like feeling real good. And as y'all know, up these past couple of weeks, I've been making videos how like, where I don't want to work a nine to five. I want to do YouTube. I want to go all in with YouTube. I want to do this. I want to really be where I'm trying to go, right? And that whole time I make these videos, I'm like knowing in the back of my head, like, yo, something's like, you just know when something just ain't right. Like, you just know you don't, you're not supposed to be where you're at in that like a change is coming. Like I just had that feeling. And today I woke up, I spent like more time than I usually do with God, just like praying. I'm praying, I'm like, God, like I really want to do YouTube. I'm praying to him like whatever I have to do, whatever you have to do to get me to get to where I'm trying to go, please do that. Challenge me. If you got to slap me in the face to make me wake up and realize like this is what I have to do, like please do it. Like I'm over here like really on my hands and knees like as I do every time I pray, like, God, please. Because I was just getting so fed up with my job, like, just the communication. They weren't communicating. I'm sending emails trying to get stuff done. They're not responding back to me. Then they're blaming me. Like, it's just so hectic. And I walk into the office today, and this is why I don't like this, because y'all could have told me this yesterday afternoon before I left and have been like, look, we don't come back to work tomorrow. We letting you go. Cool. But you're going to make me drive all the way to work 10 minutes sit down for about 30, 45 minutes, chilling like everything's good. And then this is how I knew. This is how I knew. Because the HR lady was like, Isaiah, can you come into my office, please? And when she says that, she's never said that. And I was just like, okay, like maybe I'm getting in trouble because like I did have a little conflict with uh, my boss over something that he approved. Then he went back on it and like just kind of messed everything up. So I go into the office, right? And then I see the CFO. They shut the door. I already knew what type of time it was. I was like, man, I've seen this before. I already know what's going on. They're like, yeah, we're going to have to let you go today. Um, we just decided to go in a different direction. Like, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, we're just, we're just going in a different direction. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I understand. Like, they over here, like, and I could see the fear in the eye. Like, they thought I was about to, like, really, are you kidding me? Like, da, da, da. I promise y'all, I, I was like, it was like more like a sigh of relief, like, Damn, God really did answer this. Okay, like this is God saying, oh, you wanted it? I bet. Like you got it. So I grab my stuff. And, and this is what I don't like is that they be like hovering over you and like making sure that you don't take shit. I'm like, bro, I don't want anything from y'all. Like I took, my, I gave my key in here, gave my badge here. Bye. See ya. Like, and I was in the car to the crib. Called my dad, told him I'm like, dad like i got i got let go again he was like i don't even know if i got let go or fired i laid off or fired but they said it was gonna give me a severance i was like cool whatever you know what i mean they're still gonna pay me out for the hours that i worked cool whatever like i'm chilling don't care like money ain't a thing because right now i'm hyped because i don't have to go to work i can do whatever i want i can put more time into youtube everything's good but i told my dad i'm like look this is my sign like i'm not going back to a nine to five I'm not going back to nine to five. I'm gonna go back to coaching and training, but I promise you I'm gonna make sure I'm going all in on this YouTube. Like I'm not, this was the sign I needed. I thought last time was like, hey, you know, it just happens. I think God gave me that opportunity last time I got laid off to go all in and I didn't take advantage of it. Now I'm taking advantage of it. I'm not wasting any time. Like 
this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be successful at this. I don't give a damn how much time I got to put in. This is just a sign I needed. I told my dad, he's like, go all in. You know what I mean? Because he, he works for himself. He's a financial advisor. So like he works on his own time. He used to be in my situation, like working a nine to five. He said, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm doing my own thing. So now he he's he came a long way. And, I, and I've seen it ever since I was a kid, like how much he had to grind to get where he's at now. But he started, not late, but he started, you know, while having kids and all this stuff. Like me, I got the opportunity to start right now. I don't have any responsibilities. I don't have much going on. Like this is the time to lock in and focus. And it's just an extreme blessing from God. Like when I tell y'all I'm so thankful because he answered my prayer. Because I knew I didn't want to be there. I was not happy at that job at all. I was just there to really collect a check, as y'all know. And that's it shouldn't be like that, but... When you're not really doing work and you're just chilling, it's like, bro, it's just easy money. But now, you know, I got what I needed. I got the confirmation. God answered the prayer. Here's where it really starts. And I'm documenting it all for y'all. Like, I'm, when I tell y'all I'm going to try to upload every day, I'm going to make it literally like a vlog series, whatever it is. Like, I got so many ideas I want to do now because I can just do whatever. And I promise y'all, like, I, I'm, am I scared? Yeah. I'm fearing what could go wrong, but I'm also like so hyped for what could go right. If because there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs, there's gonna be trials, there's gonna be roadblocks, there's going to be seasons of being in that storm, and I think I'm back in it. But I ain't even looking at it like that because I know God's with me. I trust Him fully with this because I I know like I see what. I envision for my life. Like I see it. And when I see it, it always comes to fruition. I, I swear. It's just God's confirmation. Just having that relationship with him, hearing him and knowing it, he's like, yo, you want this? Here you go. You put in the work, you're going to get to where you want to go. I already know. I already know. It's just confirmed, man. And I'm truly thankful to be getting let go. <laughs> like it's going to be a serious grind. It's going to be a lot of work. There's going to be times I ain't going to lie. I might get a little emotional. I might be like, you know, what? when's it going to happen? But it can happen at any point. But yeah, y'all, it happened again. This is, this is literally, this is the third time I've been let go, laid off, fired, let go, whatever, in less than a year. <laughs> third time in less than a year. If that don't tell you that the nine to five life is not for me, God does not want me in that lane, I don't know what I don't know what else it is because it's like I'm not just gonna keep going against what God wants for me because I promise you I keep applying to jobs and I keep trying to you know work a nine to five and be in that that simulation being that rat race like no I'm not doing it God keeps taking me out of it for a reason so why am I going to keep going against what He wants for me? when he's just going to do it again if I get into that situation. Maybe there's a better job opportunity out there. I don't know, but I'm not stressing over looking for a job like I was when I got laid off. I'm really going to lock in with this YouTube. Really about to lock in with this YouTube, but yeah. That's it. We about to get to work. You know what I mean? Like It's it's 9 a.m. I still got time to do what I got to do. It, it's Thursday, so when y'all see this, it's going to be tomorrow, Friday, when I drop this video for y'all for the weekend, but... Bro, it's crazy. I never really thought I'd be making this video so soon. I never really thought I'd be making this video, you know, <laughs> in the same in the same year. You know what I mean? Less than a year. Like it's 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 just crazy, man. And like I said, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. You know, I'm never gonna question God. You know, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I know. Oh my. Oh, y'all don't understand. When I look back on these videos. When I look back on these videos, I'm a oh man, when I, I'm a literally come back to this video, the other two that I made. Oh Lord, I'm all oh, I'm telling y'all the people who who and this this is just like friendly to the people who laid me off, fired me, didn't think I was a good fit. Thank you, like thank you because. Y'all really saved my life. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all saved my life because I was really about to go down the road. I did not want to be on. <laughs> not in that rat race. So, <sighs> it's time to work, y'all.